Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and today we're gonna to be customizing our Windows 10. Not just changing the fonts or the wallpaper, we're actually gonna be changing like the entire thing, title bars to login screens, right here, right now. Like in all things dangerous to our computer, we should always create a system restore point. Now, to do that, we will right click system, click on system protection on the left bar, this dialog box would come up and you should see that local C drive system protection is on. If you haven't turned it on, you can turn it on up on here. Now you want to hit this create button. This will create a restore point before we have any system modifications to this computer. That way if we mess up on something or we rename the wrong file or something like that, we have something to restore to so it could boot again. Now with that out of the way, keep in mind a little disclaimer. We are modifying system files and this could break your system. Now with that being said, I'm actually going to be doing this on my virtual machine. That way you can see all the system reboots go on. Now if you haven't seen this video on how to create a virtual machine server, I'll leave a card up above or a link in the description below. I have a video on how to install your own virtual machine server. Okay, with that out of the way, let's hit console and you're going to be presented with the default theme. You guys are probably used to this by now. Now, we're going to start off with some basics. Uh, Windows 10 does ship with a dark theme. It's not enabled. You can't select it anywhere. So uh, maybe in the future they might add it like a slider switch in the settings or something. But I'm not going to hold my breath for that. So in the meantime, I'm going to leave a link. I'm going to leave actually all the links in the description below on where you can get all this stuff. To turn your theme into dark. Now, you see how this is all white. Everything's all white and everything. If I go into settings, it's all white. Now to change all this, what you could do is apply a registry, which will allow it to use the dark theme itself. All you have to do is double click on the registry. Yes. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. It's been added. Now we could reboot the system. Anything registry related, you have to restart the computer. So the next time when it kicks up, it will take an effect. Pop in our password right there. Let's boot it back into the system and you're gonna see that everything's dark. This is dark. If I go into settings, now it's all dark. You see how everything changed? It doesn't apply to all programs, but most system-wide um, theme is gonna be changed to a dark theme. So it's a matter of just replacing the registry. Now it's a little bit different than what you're used to already. Uh, if you use the Edge browser, which uh, I know some of you maybe still do. You could actually go into settings and enable it through here just to match with the system theme for the Edge browser. And that's it. Now to fix it or to revert back to the light theme, there's going to be another registry that says light. Double click that. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now my light theme has been applied. Reboot the system again. Now we're going to go into our second thing of customizing Windows 10, and that will be our login screen. Now that's something that you cannot change. You could actually change the, the lock screen, but not our login screen. So what we're going to be doing right now is changing that. And there's an application actually by this guy, PFC Cronium, I'm probably saying it wrong. I'm going to leave a link in the description below and you could grab this program called Windows 10 Login Background Changer. You scroll down and then you hit this download link and it'll actually bring you to his release file so it's all pre-compiled. You don't have to look at, you don't have to download it from source. Now, from there, you're going to extract the file and it's going to have two folders, GUI and command line. Just use the GUI, which is a lot simpler unless you want to make it command line. Hit yes to give it administrative rights. And here, I'm going to see the default theme that we have right now. To change it, all we have to do is click on this little thing, find the background, which I'm going to use either uh, uh, probably this code. It's going to look weird. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA. Guys, you probably know what that is. And apply changes. Now it's been applied. And if I hit lock window, I hope I could change the font, but I don't think I can. So 
We can always find something that's going to match our font or help us read the font, something like that. Apply changes. And you can always restore back to default if you needed to, but this application is very handy for the first login so everything could change. You can also stretch it out if you want to. My resolution, apply changes, and it'll stretch out the borders so it's your resolution. Now the next thing we're going to be changing, this is the hard part, or the, the tough things where we have to modify the system files. Now if you're going to notice, by default, if you go into personalize and you go into themes, theme setting, all you're going to have is the Windows 10 default theme and the high contrast themes. Now we're going to be adding a brand new section into that and it's going to basically allow us to download our own themes and change the outlook of the entire Windows 10. Borders, everything, title bars, everything you can think of. So to do that, what we would need is something called the UX theme patcher and UX style. So first you want to install the UX theme patcher. And yes, it's always going to need administrative rights. It's going to guide you through a setup, accept the license agreement. And remember, you have system restore, so if anything fails, you can always restore your computer back. It'll re tell you which version, if it's patched or not. See, my status is already patched on this system. Once you hit install, it's going to repatch. Well, for me, it's going to repatch. For you guys, it's just going to patch. And you can finish this. It's going to require reboot. Because I already have it installed, I don't really need to restart it. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to restart it anyway. Awesome new theme over here. I wish I could just change the wallpaper a little bit to help with the font. Because now I know it's a white font, I should probably change it to something like darker. Okay, here, now that we got that installed, the next program we're going to have to install from Theme Patcher is UX Style Preview. And I already have it installed, that's why it says uninstall. But for you guys, it's going to say install. Now, we're not done yet. After that's all said and done, we need to go into our system files and apply something. Okay? So, first, we need this registration file called take ownership. And it says add take ownership to context menu. So, once you hit that, hit yes, it's going to add that in. You're going to have to restart the computer. Remember what I said. Anything that related to registry, you're going to have to restart your computer. But after you add that, it actually gives you a new option when you right-click on something. So when you right-click, it's, it's going to have something that says take ownership. Let me get to my system32 files. So we're going to go into C drive, Windows, system32, and... I have a 64-bit system and we, we need this file called file patch x64 and it has theme ui.dll, ux.int.dll and ux theme.dll. Those are the three files we need to move over. So before we could do anything, we need to take ownership. You see that new icon? Hit yes, it's going to take the ownership of that. Now I could actually just rename the file to backup.dll. That way it's not going to initialize that initialize that and it won't I won't lose that file. Copy paste and it's going to paste in a new location. And keep that in mind for the next three files we're going to have to do the same exact thing. When you're done with that, you can restart the computer after you finish all three of them. After your computer is restarted, you're not done yet. You actually have to find some themes. Now, the best place to hunt down for themes is DeviantArt. All you have to do is actually type in on the search for Windows customization or anything that you know. You would type in UX theme and a lot of selection will come up. Now, I like this Dash theme. I've been using it since Windows 7. So I decided to search Dash on Windows 10 and it requires you to use UX theme. Once you download Dash for Windows 10 from right here, top right, you're going to have a zip file and I'm going to show you right now how the zip file would look like. 
So it will look like this, dash for Windows 10. I'm going to extract all the files to that location. And you see how it says theme? You just have to copy that, those two files. It says dash and that little cool icon. File Explorer, C Drive, Windows. Scroll down under to Resources, Themes, and you paste it in here. As soon as you paste everything, once you right click on your desktop, Personalize, and head over to Themes and Theme Settings, you're going to have a new bar that says Installed Themes. And you see how I said I have actually two themes in here, Dash and After Dark. Now if I hit dash, it's going to make my screen go, please wait, and you see how everything changes. Even look at the top right corners. You see how it's rounded? Everything's brown. I mean, everything's gray. It even includes its own wallpaper, and all these are hidden. You don't see it at first, but once you highlight it. And if I change it to like another theme called After Dark, which I also downloaded it from, a, downloaded it from another site, you're going to see how everything changes also again. And this would really go really well with that dark registry theme. So now that you know how to customize Windows, I'm going to be leaving some resources in the descriptions below. Thanks for watching my video. If you liked this video, please hit the like button. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Help me share this video so I get the word out. And if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. That helps me a lot. Also tells you when the next video is going to be out. And remember, hack till it hurts. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe, it helps me a lot. And if you want to watch more videos like this, I'll post a link right here.